Steve, challenging times in the world at the moment. Uh, business does go on, and here in commentary, you've got a lot of stock. Obviously, Max been postponed. But there's been a common theme with DMG Mori at Emo, for instance, last year when we came to front and with you. But this NHX 4000 machine with the RPS system. Now, tell us why you think this machine would have created a lot of interest at Mac. Well, it's a very small footprint and you've got 21 pallets. So you potentially could wind that out to 21 machines. But of course, you're operating with the one spindle. But you're operating uh, opportunities go for 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, they've got all the features on there to allow it to run unattended. We've got a big tall magazine, we've got probing opportunities. And you can leave parts set up in there. So this isn't always about high volume. <coughs> Excuse me, this is about you know, high variety and um, volume coming through behind it. So if you've got a job, for example, that comes through every month, just leave it set on one pallet, call it in, leave the tool set, and you're running again. So you're reducing your set time, and you're reducing your inspection time as well because actually it was right last time, it should be right this time as well. Uh, and I think the benefit to this machine as well, the, the RPS system actually holds 400 kilos. So the amount of different variants of the jobs that you could have on this machine is fantastic. And I, could, I would imagine that a lot of engineers would think, well, I've already got three or four machines, I'm managing those. But you, you could do everything on this machine, couldn't you? There's a lot of functionality on this machine. Um, yeah, you've answered the question there. It's just very, very flexible and uh, you've got lots of opportunities um, whether it's standard work on pallets or whether it's on tombstones or whether you got a, a component loaded on there as a as a complete lump it, it's it's endless really and the one thing i like at dmg mori is the way you actually sell a machine because a lot of engineers they look oh well the list price is five hundred thousand pounds for instance but you break it down into into what you're earning back you know in a day in a week in a month explain how you do that well You've got to look at what your outgoings are every month. Um, sure, you've got to look at the long term. One is my commitment for the long term. But if you take this machine, for example, £571,000, a lot of money. It's a lot of money in anybody's book. So how do you look at that? First of all, it's a top class machine. It's a premium machine. It will give you very, very good run times, both thermally and cycle times. So we look at £571,000. That equates to £6,200 per month. Now, if you look at running the machine at, let's say, £80 an hour, which machines like this would run generally higher, and let's be realistic and say that you're running at 16 hours a day for five days. You work that out, in a six-month period, you can earn £157,000 of revenue off of this machine. And what I'm offering is the first six months, there is no payment from us. There is no deposit and there is no payment. So you as a customer can generate £157,000 worth of business before you pay me a penny. That puts you in a very positive situation. Well, that's such a positive message, isn't it? And, and, and the beauty of it is that you've, you've bought a lot of stock in, haven't you, because of Mac. Uh, so the flexibility of, of quick uh, turnaround on the machine is, is obviously there, isn't it? Yeah, we've, we've got this machine available. We've got another one coming behind it. Um, we have a commitment to UK manufacturing and um, you know stock at the moment is not a problem I guess it's not a problem for a lot of my competitors but um, they're moving they're moving very quickly and they're moving because we can sell a machine that is generally more expensive than our competitor but our monthly rate is lower. Finally Steve where would this machine appeal to what type of sector what type of business? We've got them in various industries. We've got one in um, uh, out and out medical industry. We've got some in job in shops, uh, which is great flexibility for a job in shop. Um, hydraulics, um, aerospace. It's, it's a very flexible machine for most industries.